Good evening, my friends. I tried this earlier and I don't know what happened. Mike Johnson here. If I could show you what the real characteristics of a quality life entails, would you want to know? Well, this week is going to be a discussion about having a quality life. Some people phrase it differently and say having a quality of life. I think they're the same thing. Some have even tried to measure quality of life and have statistics to back up their findings. I would say that many of us have never tried to quantify what really necessitates a quality life, which is why I chose to discuss this subject this week. How can we set our sights on something that's unknown and obscure? Or how can we ever expect to get something that we've never set our sights on to begin with? You won't. It's that simple. And I believe that's why so many people are just floundering through life without a purpose and unhappy with their lot. There are many things that people think constitute a quality of life, such as material possessions, cars, trucks, motorhomes, big fancy houses, jewelry, or clothes. Some people think that being healthy is, is important, and I would agree with that mostly. Some of you would say, you get quality of life from getting a good education from a good school. Others would say uh, having good hobbies for leisure time and social interactions would make the difference in, in their quality of life. And some would say that your environment has the greatest impact on quality of life. So as I was preparing this uh, last week for this subject, I was driving home from work in one of the... Uh, poorest neighborhoods in our town and I want you to know I'm not judging anyone I'm just reporting but as I was driving home I noticed a father and a son outside of their apartment and they were throwing a football back and forth and you could see from the expression on the boy's face that he was in heaven and as excited as he could be. The father had an expression of happiness and love as they tossed that ball back and forth and back and forth. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. The quality of life doesn't have anything to do with our possessions. It doesn't have anything to do with our health, our education, our social status, our government, or our environment for that matter. Now here were two happy individuals, happy as they could be with the quality of life stamped all over what they were doing. Why? Because quality of life is, is wrapped up in our thoughts, actions, and reactions. What this showed me so very clearly is that it doesn't matter where you live, you can live in a less des than desirable apartment or house. It doesn't matter what you've accumulated. You can have one simple football with love and sharing, and you can have quality of life. The quality of our life is determined in our own mind, not by some external thing. People wait around their whole life for that one break, for that one person, for that one job, for that... One house that will provide them quality of life, never knowing that the only place that you find that quality of life is between your ears. Now I hope you're ready for the messages the rest of this week. I know I am. I hope this has been helpful and that you'll share this message with your friends. Have a great evening. I hope to see you tomorrow morning where I'll deliver the next message in this series. I love y'all and thank you for watching and listening. Take care. Mike out.